most respected family members my pranams to you today february 28th we are celebrating the national science day decades ago dr c v raman with dr krishnan could discover raman effect the effect produced when light rays passes through liquids and solids the deviation of the light rays and the splitting of the light rays could be utilized for understanding the structure of the matter through which the uh, light passes dr c v raman a greatest one of the greatest patriots and a nationalist he could work in india using the minimum facilities available during then and he spent nearly 185 rupees for his instrument and according to him 180 rupees 85 rupees worth instrument to which he put 1 million dollar worth hard work so that he could show the world that indians are no way inferior to the british people a period during when india was fighting for freedom when dr c v raman got nobel prize and also rabindranath tagore got nobel prize and people like swami vivekananda uh, toured around the world and gave the messages of india it gave an extremely great level of self confidence and self respect for indians during then and even today we should remember that dr c v raman one of the most dharmic hindu and highly religious man internally he used to analyze the dharmic and religious values using science logic and a rational pathway and whenever he was invited to the foreign countries people used to offer him wine or drinks he used to say my culture never allows me to drink this type of liquor intoxicating liquid and he kept his vratam very strongly and he told every indian elevate yourself to the level to say that you are eligible for sitting a place under the sun anywhere in the horizon indians are no way inferior to any other race in the world any indian if they do hard work 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration he can without fail achieve whatever he wanted he wants to achieve this messages of dr c v raman like the messages of dr e p j abdul kalam could give a extremely well level of self confidence when jawaharlal nehru offered him the vice presidentship of india he told that what should i do with that ship and a scientist he said my role is only in investigation in doing research in science and telling the world about the truth of the nature and no other political positions no other political uh, chair or respect or flag i want to carry so this conviction dr c v raman got and he became the director of iisc bangalore when he found that that chair is a burden for him for pursuing research he resigned from iisc he started his own research institute raman institute and pursued the research work and now that institute is standing as one of the biggest one of the excellent research center in india as a as a rishi just like charaka maharshi Bharadwaja Maharshi, Shushrutha Maharshi, Vakpada Ajaria contributed their level best for the for the investigation of scientific knowledge. Just like Arya Bhata one and two, Bhaskara one and two, Vadeshwara Ajaria, Lalla Ajaria, Pudumana Somayaji, and Trikandiu Rachida Pisharadi, Nila Ganda, Chengara Varman, and so on pursued research in the holiest dharmic value. keeping minimum luxury in their life and exposing to the blunt truth and fact and the sense of science they informed the world that 
India was, India is and India will not be inferior to other countries. Now world over as Swami Vivekananda said, 20th century belongs to Americans and 21st century belongs to we Indians. Now this is the era of Indian. Indian knowledge, Indian heritage, Indian intellectuals capacity and Indian devotion, sincerity and dedication are being approved world over. World over people started appreciating that India could lead the world starting from the spirituality and then other branches. So my request to each and every one of you who, he, who are, each and every one of you who is watching this YouTube message, learn something about Indian heritage. Whatever may be your subject of interest, whether it is mathematics, your astronomy, or Ayurveda, or yoga, or metallurgy, or textiles, or our industrial development themes, and any subject connected directly with Indian culture, and any subject connected with the civil engineering, or metallurgical engineering marvel, what existed in India for the last not less than 10,000 years. That you have to learn. It will not take much time. Materials have been uploaded in the YouTube. Just listen two or three times and try to understand each and every point given in that scientifically, rationally and logically. So first to try to understand, then teach to your family members, then to other friends whenever you are getting opportunity to teach them. So like that, the, the stream of Indian heritage, particularly Indian scientific heritage, which started its flowing for the last not less than 20, 10 millennia, that should not get interrupted. That flow should not get stopped anywhere. Let you be a Christian, you be a Muslim, or let you be a Hindu. You may be a leftist or rightist or an atheist, don't worry. You be what you are, but remember that India is your motherland. You have not come from Mecca. You have not come from Jerusalem. You, your fatherland and motherland is not Russia or China. You are born here. Chinese do not respect Indians so much. Russians also do not respect Indians so much. Arabian people also do not respect Indians so much. And also Israeli people. Then why should we respect them beyond a limit? Your holy land is not in Arabia. Your holy land is not in, in Israel. Your holy land is this India, Bharat. It is, when we say Bharat Mata Ki Jai, when we say that Indian culture and Indian traditions and Indian heritage should be learned thoroughly, some people think that one, it is the job of RSS. Why should we give that responsibility to, to learn everything connected with India to one party or one organization? Why should we give the responsibility of looking after our parents to only one of the children born for that parents? If you are the child, you are the son or daughter of your motherland, it is your duty to say that one, the Vedas, the Puranas, the mathematics, the astronomical knowledge, the metallurgical knowledge, the scientific and technological knowledge existed in India. These are all part and parcel of my life. Just like I worship, I respect, I honor my mother and my father, it is inevitably important to see that I respect, I honor my motherland too. Because this land gave us the opportunity to get our birth here. This land gave us the opportunity to grow. And this land is protecting us. And our country will be remaining and political parties will come and go. Politicians may be creating so much problem negatives. But be aware that any poisonous material taken by a Hindu, Christian or Muslim, his health will be affected. Similarly, any poisonous messages given by these religiously biased politicians, that will be affecting the society also. Let us think openly, learn Indian heritage, take only rational, logical and scientific messages given in India. Any superstition in any religion, it is our duty to erase it off and further enrich them after removing the superstitions and what are not applicable in the 21st century. This National Science Day, 
the C.V. Raman's discovery and the C.V. Raman's devoted messages given to us, one percent inspiration, ninety-nine percent perspiration. Indians are no way inferior to the foreigners. If they have got the enthusiasm and the urge to attain any position under the sun, they can. And these words are more than what can create the real devotion, dedication and sincerity. My request, learn the modern subject. Learn the modern subject from wheresoever they are available. Learn the heritage subject also. Integrate the modern and the heritage. Now world over people are accepting our Vedas. And remember that Vedas have been labeled as approved as the world heritage. Our Puranas have been taken as management books. Our Ayurveda, one of the ideal health science. Our yoga being practiced by people world over. Our Vedic mathematics has been taken as the subject for research even in NASA. And our mathematics being utilized in Cambridge University. And our heritage in astronomy. And remember that matter, our metallurgy, our civil engineering knowledge, our textile business, any subject you take, I assure you that world over people are receiving, accepting and trying to acquire the knowledge of India and they are even trying to patent them. Even we, some of the press media, some of the e-media people denigrate, degrade and even make fun of our heritage. But it is not the case with the other people world over. Intellectuals, thinkers and scientists started accepting, approving, appreciating our heritage. It is our heritage. It is not the Hindu's heritage alone. It is the heritage of Hindus, Muslims and Christians. The believers and non-believers. I request to you, learn, study, understand and teach others. So through listening, through watching, through discussing, through thinking, Practice it. I am sure that India will come up. The, the era, 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda and today the National Science Day. Let these give the power, the vigor, the energy to act and activate others. My pranams to you. I express my gratitude for your listening to this message. Copy the link of whatever we have uploaded in YouTube and if possible, Send to others through emails. They will also watch it. It is not an individual's interest or personal interest. It is our country, our dharma, our family and ourselves should get elevated. Uddhare dhatma natmana na atmana mavasadaye atmaiva jyatmano bandhu atmaiva atmana. Let us elevate ourselves, our family, our society, our nation. Let us not denigrate ourselves, our family, our society and our nation. We ourselves are our closest relatives and we should not become our own closest enemies. With these words, once again my pranams, thank you very much.